Good morning, Haley. Good morning. Haley's getting her coffee. Today is June 23rd. And there's Zach and Justin just going out. It is 6.58 and we are going to be harvesting in the lettuce house today. So we're going to show them what we do out there. Yeah. That'll be cool. That will be. Good morning. <laughs> So we are in the lettuce house and no black flies, but lots of mosquitoes. And we're gonna be harvesting for the market tomorrow. Oops, sorry, Wayne. We have some nasturtium growing. Is that all the nasturtium we have? Yep, yeah, it's all that Oh. We're gonna order some seeds from William Dan. Maybe we've got our seeds. Right here, just a second. And there's Zach picking our Swiss chard. And Justin, okay. harvesting as well. Yeah. Nice bright morning with the clouds, eh, Justin? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty gloomy outside. It is, but it's nice in here. It is. Shane's going to start harvesting um, Boston lettuce. That's how he does that. Nice. And Wayne is going to start harvesting the leaf lettuce. It's nice. Beautiful heads. Beautiful. So while we're waiting for the guys to um, harvest our lettuce mix and we can bag it, we are going to pick our cherry tomatoes and cucumbers so we'll do our cherry tomatoes and cucumbers out of here and then we'll head down to number three and uh, pick our slicers and picklers and english cucumbers look at these tomatoes all for market tomorrow there's lots to pick so let's get to it and there we go we have um, a master full um they're not producing super well now right now but within the next week or so they'll really start producing and now on to the pickling cucumbers there's a lot of them nice size so here we go and that's all we got out of this greenhouse for picklers because these plants aren't doing very well so I think what we're going to be doing is replacing these but we'll do that another time on to number three now into cucumber heaven this this greenhouse really produces lots. So Haley is picking all the picklers. And with the picklers, we just uh, pinch off. With the slicers and English, we use these scissors. So here we are picking picklers um, in the back half of number three. And compared to picking on the ground, this is heaven. So nice. You're not on, the, on your hands and knees. They're not dirty. It's great. And look at how tall these are way over Haley's head. Now onto the slicers and this is why I said in yesterday's video that I've been trimming off some leaves because it's oh it's like a jungle in here. When you come in first thing in the morning from the condensation oh the plants are cold and wet but that's okay. So onto the slicers. With the slicers I put them into an empty master. We don't use the uh, the baskets because slicers mark very easy um, so what we do is okay so with the slicers like I said they mark very easy and they're so tall and flimsy that well they're not super flimsy but they're flimsy enough you don't want to be pulling these heavy ones off so we take the scissors and just like that and then we lay them right into the basket um, we don't pick all of these because, first of all, our um, CSA produce program starts next Thursday, so we need 60 big pick, uh, slicers for them, either slicer or English. So we want to leave on the smaller ones. We don't want to pick them. We sell these for a dollar each, and we like to keep them all pretty much the same size. This one here is huge. I mean, some of them are bigger than others, but there. So that's how we do this, and we'll show you when we're all finished. And now on to our English cucumbers. Aren't they beautiful? So we want to pick this size or bigger. And we sell these at market for $2 each. 
So I'm going to get picking because I can't hold the camera and, uh, and pick at the same time. And Haley's busy picking picklers still. So I'll show you what we get out of this once we're done. And our eggplant is going to be, oop, I'm trying to get through here. Look at the size of these and look at the flowers on them. And it's going to produce a lot. The tiny one. Oh yeah, was that, on, was that on our Facebook page, right? Yeah. Spring Hill Farms Facebook page. That's but that was a tiny, tiny one. That was just last week. So it's really growing. They're not quite ready yet. Some people like them small like that, but we wait until they get a little bigger. And uh, probably double that size and then we'll be taking. So next week, we'll be taking them to market. I'm pretty sure. And here are the cucumbers we just picked. The English are beautiful. This is all we're gonna pick for this weekend because we wanna make sure that we do have enough nice sized ones for um, our 60 family CSA. And uh, now we're heading back up to the Lettuce house, where are you going? We're gonna head up to the life source. <laughs> we're gonna head up to the lettuce house and uh, help with bagging and harvesting. Okay, so before we go and bag some lettuce, we have to load all of this stuff into the trailer for the market tomorrow. So we'll get at it. And all that fit in the trailer. We are good packers, Haley. And there's nothing here. Can you believe it? And this is the side door. So it's a lot of work to uh, fill this trailer. Both shelves, the floor, underneath the shelves are full, full, full. We'll unload this at market and then come, and the back of the truck will be full of, completely full of uh, produce and produce. Produce and, produce. <laughs> and we'll come home with basically nothing. So now off to work in the lettuce house, Haley. And what time is it? We started at seven. What time is it now? Quarter to nine. Wow. That's pretty good time. Fast. <laughs> super, super fast. <laughs> well, they've seen us move. I know. When we were loading the trailer. And now we are in the lettuce house for the last of our job for today, which will take us all day. That's some beautiful kale, Haley. Wow. Yeah, so this goes to market as well. Everything actually that we're um, harvesting today goes to market. We have red romaine, lettuce mix. This is about five different types of lettuce that we put into our Spring Hill lettuce mix. We have green romaine. We leave the roots on. Here's some basil, but we're not going to bring this to market this this week. We're going to um, put this in program next week. So nice. And Shane's doing mix as well. Things and stuff. Things and stuff. Beautiful Boston. Look at that freshness. And Justin is now on to kale. Yes. Nice stems, eh? Yeah, super tender. Super, super tender. And with our kale, it's not like when you get from the grocery store and it's really um, woody. This stuff here is super tender. You can eat the whole it stock and all. It's apart in your hands. Yeah. Nice. Good job, Justin. Thanks. 
So Wayne is holding, you can see the size with him holding the one romaine. It's beautiful crisp lettuce. This is and, a small one. Yeah. And uh, what he does is he trims the root, rinses the root, and then um, we bring living lettuce to, uh, to the market. And Zach is transplanting, so he's taking the um, nursery trays and planting them into the finishing troughs. So that's what he's doing. Just there we go. So what are you harvesting now, Haley? Cilantro. Cilantro, living cilantro. Yeah. So we uh, put a few bunches together, cut the root, rinse them, put them in a bag, and you can bring it home and have your own living cilantro. Not a fan of the smell yet, but it's I'm getting there. Oh, it's so good. Either I think it's a either you love it or you hate it. And I'm kind of in between now. I don't hate it, don't love it. Okay, that is it for today. We're just finishing packing our spring mix. And you can go to the market tomorrow and buy it all up. Bye!